Bless Master. Bless Sidious our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O our God. Glory to thee, O heavenly King, O Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who is everywhere present and fillest all things. Treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us. Cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto you, ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Mercy, Lord have 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 mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship and fall down before God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before the very Christ our King and our God. <clears throat> Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy great mercy, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out mine iniquity. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge mine iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the unclear and hidden things of thy wisdom, hast thou, made, hast thou made clear to me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness, the bones which thou hast broken shall rejoice. Turn away thy face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and steady me with a guiding spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and the impious shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For hadst thou desired sacrifice, I would have given it thee. Thou delightest not in burnt offerings. Sacrifices to God are a contrite spirit, a contrite and humble heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good will unto Zion, that the walls of Jerusalem may be built up. <clears throat> then shalt thou be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness. With burnt offering and whole burnt offerings, then they shall offer bullocks upon thine altar. O old thou didst bury the pursuing tyrant beneath the waves of the sea. Now the children of those who were saved bury thee beneath the earth. But like the maidens, let us sing to the Lord, for gloriously has he been glorified. Thou didst suspend the earth immovably upon the waters. Now creation beholds thee suspended on Calvary. 
It quakes with great amazement and cries, None is holy but thee, O Lord. The soldiers guarding thy tomb, O Savior, became as dead men at the lightning flash of the angels, who appeared announcing thy resurrection to the women. We glorify thee who cleansest from corruption. We fall down before thee who didst rise from the tomb, O our only God. Foreseeing thy divine humiliation on the cross, Habakkuk cried out trembling, Thou didst shatter the dominion of the mighty by joining those in hell as the Almighty Lord. Isaiah saw the never-setting light of thy compassionate manifestation to us as God, O Christ. Rising early from the night, he cried out, The dead shall arise, those in the tombs shall awake, all those on earth shall greatly rejoice. Jonah was caught, but not held fast in the belly of the whale. He was a sign of thee who has suffered and accepted burial. Coming forth from the beast, as from a bridal chamber, he called out to the guard, By observing vanities and lies, you have forsaken your own mercy. He who was shut in the depths is beheld dead, wrapped in fine linen and spices. The immortal one is laid in a tomb as a mortal man. The women have come to anoint him with myrrh, weeping bitterly and crying, This is the most blessed Sabbath on which Christ has fallen asleep to rise on the third day. He who holds all things together has been lifted up upon the cross, and all of creation weeps at seeing him hanging naked upon the tree. The sun hid its rays, and the stars cast aside their splendor. The earth shook with great fear, the sea fled, and the rocks were split asunder. Many tombs were opened, and the bodies of holy men arose. Hell groaned below, and the Jews considered how to slander the resurrection of Christ. But the women cried, This is the most blessed Sabbath on which Christ has fallen asleep to rise on the third day. Inexpressible wonder, in the furnace thou didst save the holy youths from the flame. Now thou art placed in the grave as a lifeless corpse, for the salvation of us who sing, Blessed art thou, O God, our Redeemer. Be amazed, O heavens, be shaken, O foundations of the earth. Behold, that he that dwells in the highest is numbered among the dead and sheltered in a lowly tomb. Bless him, O youths. Praise him, O priests. O people, exalt him above all forever. We praise, bless, and worship the Lord, singing and exalting him throughout all the ages. Do not lament me, O mother, seeing me in the tomb, the son conceived in the womb without seed. For I shall arise and be glorified with eternal glory as God. I shall exalt all who magnify you in faith and love. Holy God, holy, holy mighty, holy, holy immortal, have, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities by thy sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. When, when thou didst descend to death, O life immortal, thou didst slay hell with the splendor of thy Godhead. And when from the depths thou didst raise the dead, all the powers of heaven cried out, O giver of life, Christ our God, glory to thee. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that he will keep this holy church and this city and every city and countryside from wrath, famine, plague, 
earthquake, flood, fire, the sword, foreign invasion, civil war, and sudden death, that our good God, who loves mankind, will be gracious, favorable, and conciliatory, and turn away and dispel all the wrath stirred up against us, and all sickness, and may deliver us from his righteous chastisement, which impends against us, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Hear us, O God, our Savior, the hope of all the ends of the earth, and of those who are far off upon the sea, and be gracious, be gracious, O Master, upon our sins, and have mercy on us. For Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For thou art a merciful God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May he who rose again from the dead, Christ our true hope, through the intercessions of his all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, our patron saint Barnabas, the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us. For as much as he is good and loves mankind, through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Okay. Start again. Start again. Come receive the light, not overcome by night. Come glorify the Christ who is risen from the dead. According to St. Mark, glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee, O Lord. Let us attend. When the 
Sabbath was past, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome bought spices so that they might go and anoint Jesus. And very early in the morning on the first day of the week, they went to the tomb at the rising of the sun. And they were saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the door of the tomb? And looking up, they saw that the stone was rolled back. It was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, dressed in a long white robe, and they were amazed. And he said to them, Do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who is crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him just as he told you. And they went out quickly and fled from the tomb. For trembling and astonishment had come upon them, and they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to the holy consubstantial life, giving an undivided trinity, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him flee from before his face. Christ is risen from the dead, traveling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing light. As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish. As wax melts before the fire. Christ is risen from the dead, traveling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. So the sinners will perish before the face of God, but let the righteous be glad. Christ is risen from the dead, traveling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon us in the tombs bestowing life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and the follows in the tombs be showing light. Christ is risen from the dead, traveling down the fight, and the follows in the tombs be showing light. Christ is risen from the dead, traveling down the fight, and the follows in the tombs be showing light. In peace, let us pray the Lord. Lord, salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and communion of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who have paid reverence in the fear of God into their end, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Metropolitan Joseph, for the venerable priest, for the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the President of the United States and all civil authorities and armed forces everywhere, for this city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For healthful seasons, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, for travelers by sea, by land, and by air, for the sick and suffering, for captives and their salvation, 
For those suffering for the faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, necessity, help us, save us, have mercy upon us. Keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. All in your remembrance are all holy, immaculate, most blessed, glorious, mighty gifts of the ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. To Unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lift up your gates, O ye princes, and be lifted up, ye everlasting gates, and the King of glory shall enter in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in war. Lift up your gates, O ye princes, and be lifted up, ye everlasting gates, and the King of glory shall enter in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in war. Lift up your gates, O ye princes, and be lifted up, ye everlasting gates, and the King of glory shall enter in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. senses, and we shall see Christ shining in the unapproachable light of his resurrection. We shall clearly hear him say rejoice, and we sing the song of victory. Christ is risen from the dead. Let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice. Let the whole world, visible and invisible, keep the feast. For Christ is risen, our eternal joy. Christ is risen from the dead, trembling death and by death. And the promise in the tomb is so life. Christ is risen from the dead, trembling death and by death. And the promise in the tomb is so life. Christ is risen from the dead, traveling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Come, let us drink that miraculous water, drawn from, from a barren stone, but a new vintage from the fount of incorruption, springing from the tomb of Christ. In him we are established. Christ is risen from the dead. Now is, now is all filled with light, heaven and earth, and the lower regions. Let all creation celebrate the rising of Christ. In him we are established. Christ is risen from the dead. Yesterday I was buried with thee, O Christ. Today I rise with thee in thy resurrection. Yesterday I was crucified with thee, glorify me with thee, 
O Savior in thy kingdom. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling the dead by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling the dead by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling the dead by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Before the dawn, Mary and the women came and found the stone rolled away from the tomb. They heard the angelic voice, Why do you seek among the dead a man, the one who is everlasting light? Behold the Festive ranks of angels, let us celebrate the saving Pascha of God. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death. And upon us in the tombs bestowing life. Now it descend, O Christ, to the depths of the earth. 
Thou didst break the everlasting bars which had held death's captives, and like Jonah from the whale on the third day, Thou didst arise from the grave, Christ is risen from the dead. Thou didst arise, O Christ, and yet the tomb remains sealed, as at thy birth the virgin's womb remained unharmed. And thou hast opened for us the gates of paradise. Christ is risen from the dead. O my Savior, as God, thou dost bring thyself freely to the Father, a victim living and, a, living and unsacrificed, resurrecting Adam, the father of us all, when thou didst arise from the grave. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Thou didst descend into the tomb, O immortal. Thou didst destroy the power of death. In victory didst thou arise, O Christ God, proclaiming rejoice to the murdering women, granting peace to thine apostles, and bestowing Before the dawn, the myrrh-bearing women sought their son as those who seek the day who was before the sun have descended to the grave, and they cried to each other, O oh, friends, let us anoint with spices his life-bearing yet buried body, the flesh which raised fallen Adam and now lies in the tomb. Let us assemble and like the magi, let us hasten and let us worship. Let us bring myrrh as a gift to him who is wrapped now, not in swaddling clothes, but in a winding sheet. Let us lament and cry, arise, O Master, and bestow resurrection on the fallen. On the holy and great Sunday of Pascha, we celebrate the life-giving resurrection of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ. For Christ alone did descend with condescension to fight Hades, and he ascended, bringing the abundant spoils of victory which he had snatched. Mary Magdalene and the rest of the women who were present at the Savior's burial on Friday evening returned that very day from Golgotha to the city to prepare ointment and spices. that They might come and later and anoint the body of Jesus. They rested the next day, Saturday, in fulfillment of the commandment. And on the following day, which was Sunday, in which the evangelists call the first day of the week, which fell on the 25th of March, or 36 hours after the death of the life-giving Jesus, the women came to the sepulcher with their prepared ointments, and as they were pondering the difficulty of rolling the stone from the gate of the sepulcher, a great earthquake took place. An angel of the Lord came down, whose appearance was like lightning and his clothes like snow, and rolled away the stone and sat thereon. The guards trembled with fear, became like dead men, and fled. But the women entered the sepulcher and found not Jesus, but they found two other angels in the form of men dressed in white raiment, who proclaimed to them the resurrection of the Savior, commanding them to hasten and to give good news to the disciples. In the meantime, Peter and John, who had received the report from Mary Magdalene, hastened and entered the tomb and found there only the linen cloths. They returned with great joy to the city and began to preach the supernatural resurrection of Christ, having seen him alive in truth five times that very day. For this joyful resurrection we therefore celebrate today, kissing one another in Christ with a brotherly kiss, illustrating thereby the dissolution of the enmity that was between us and God, and a reconciliation through Christ. This feast was, was called Pascha from the Jewish name, for Christ by his passion and resurrection translated us from the curse of Adam and the bondage of Satan to the ancient liberty and bliss. As for this day of the week, which is called in Hebrew the first day, being dedicated to our Lord for his glorification and magnification, 
is called in Greek Kyriaki, or the Lord's Day. The disciples transferred it to, to it the dignity of the Sabbath after the law of the Old Testament, and prescribed that it be a holiday and a day of rest. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. to thee with myrrh, O Christ. In tears they had sought thee as a dead man, but in joy they worshiped thee as the living God and proclaimed the mystical Pascha to thy disciples. Christ is risen from the dead. We celebrate the death of death and the overthrow of hell, the beginning of another life which is eternal, and in exaltation we sing the praises of its source. He alone is blessed and most glorious, the God of our fathers. Christ is risen from the dead. This is the bright and saving night, sacred and supremely festal. It heralds the radiant day of the resurrection, on which the timeless light shone forth from the tomb for all. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and the follows in the tombs bestowing life. This is the 
Christ is risen from the dead, traveling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, traveling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed, blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. powers of heaven praise thee and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the flesh that is fall asleep as a mortal man, O King and Lord, thou didst rise on the third day, raising Adam from corruption and destroying death. O Pascha of incorruption, the salvation of the world, in the flesh thou didst fall asleep. As a mortal man, O King and Lord, thou didst rise on the third day, raising Adam from corruption and destroying death. O Pascha of incorruption, the salvation of the world, in the flesh thou didst fall asleep. As a mortal man, O King and Lord, Thou didst rise on the third day, Raising Adam from corruption and destroying death. O Pascha of incorruption, the salvation of the Praise them on the loud cymbals, 
Praise him on the high-sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. We glorify thy divine condescension, and we praise thee, O Christ. Thou wast born of a virgin, yet not separated from the Father. Thou hast suffered as a man and voluntarily endured the cross. Thou hast risen from the tomb, coming as from a bridal chamber to save the world. O Lord, glory to Thee. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Today a sacred Pascha is revealed to us, a new and holy Pascha, a mystical Pascha, a Pascha worthy of veneration, a Pascha which is Christ the Redeemer. Blameless Pascha, a great Pascha, a Pascha of the faithful, a Pascha which has opened for us the gates of paradise, a Pascha which sanctifies all the faithful. As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish. Come from that seed, O women bearers of the tidings, and say to Zion, Receive from us the glad tidings of joy of Christ's resurrection. Exalt and be glad, and rejoice, O Jerusalem. Seeing Christ the King who comes forth from the tomb, like a bridegroom in procession. So the sinners will perish before the face of God, but let the righteous be glad. The murdering women at the break of dawn drew near to the tomb of the life here. Not 
If you are watching from home, I invite you to stand, as is the custom, for the reading of the Paschal Homily of St. John Chrysostom. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, if anyone is a devout and lover of God, let him enjoy this beautiful and radiant festival. If anyone is a wise servant, let him, rejoicing, enter into the joy of his Lord. If anyone has wearied himself in fasting, let him now receive his recompense. If anyone has labored from the first hour, let him today receive his just reward. If anyone has come at the third hour with thanksgiving, let him keep the feast. If anyone has arrived at the sixth hour, let him have no misgivings, for he shall suffer no loss. If anyone has delayed until the ninth hour, let him draw near without hesitation. If anyone has arrived even at the eleventh hour, let him not fear on account of his delay. For the Master is gracious and receives the last even as the first. He gives rest to him that cometh at the eleventh hour, just as to him who has labored from the first. He has mercy upon the last and cares for the first. To the one he gives and to the other he is gracious. He both honors the work and praises the intention. Enter all of you therefore into the joy of our Lord, and whether first or last, receive your reward. O rich and poor, one with another, dance for joy. O you ascetics and you negligent, celebrate the day. You that have fasted and you that have disregarded the fast, rejoice today. The table is rich laden. Feast royally, all of you. The calf is fatted. Let no one go forth hungry. Let all partake of the feast of the faith. Let all receive the riches of goodness. Let no one lament his poverty, for the universal kingdom has been revealed. Let no one mourn his transgressions, for pardon has dawned from the grave. Let no one fear death. For the Savior's death has set us free. He that was taken by death has annihilated it. He descended into Hades and took Hades captive. He embittered it when it tasted his flesh. And anticipating this, Isaiah exclaimed, Hades was embittered when it encountered thee in the lower regions. It was embittered, for it was abolished. It was embittered, for it was mocked. It was embittered, for it was purged. It was embittered, for it was despoiled. It was embittered, for it was bound in chains. It took a body, and face to face met God. It took earth, and encountered heaven. It took what it saw, but crumbled before what it had not seen. O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, Hades, where is thy victory? Christ is risen, and you are overthrown. Christ is risen, and the demons are fallen. Christ is risen, and the angels rejoice. Christ is risen, and life reigns. Christ is risen, and not one dead remains in a tomb. For Christ, being raised from the dead, has become the first fruits of them that slept. To him be glory and might, unto ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen. Truly is risen. risen. Grace shining forth from thy mouth like a beacon hath illumined the universe and disclosed to the world treasures of uncovetousness and showed us the heart. 
Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon us in the tomb bestowing by. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon us in the tomb bestowing by. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered, let those who hate him flee from before his face. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon us in the tombs bestowing life. As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish, as wax melts before the fire. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon us in the tombs bestowing life. As smoke Vanish, no, as so the sinners will perish before the face of God, but let the righteous be glad. Christ is risen from the dead, traveling down death by death, and upon us in the tombs bestowing life. This is the day that the Lord has made, let us rejoice and be glad in it. Christ is risen from the dead, traveling down death by death, and the follows in the tombs bestowing life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, traveling down the fire, and the follows in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, traveling down the fire, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, traveling down the fire, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. From above and to the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For <laughs> the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, for the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city and for every city and land and for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the President of the United States and all <coughs> civil authorities and for our armed forces everywhere, especially for Peter, Joshua, Benjamin, Thaddeus, Ronnie, Adam, Connor, Andrew, Will, and Alex, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For healthful seasons, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, for the sick and suffering, for captives in their salvation, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Make a joyful noise to God, all the earth. Sing of his name, give glory to his praise. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Say to God, how awesome are thy deeds. So great is thy power that thy enemies cringe before thee. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Let all the earth worship thee and praise thee. Let it praise thy name, O Most High. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For thine is the majesty, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. God be bountiful to us and bless us. Show the light of thy countenance upon us, and have mercy on us. O Son of God, who arose from the dead, save us who sing to thee. Alleluia. That we may know thy way upon the earth, and thy salvation among all nations. O Son of God, who arose from the dead, save us who sing to Thee. Alleluia. Let the people give thanks to Thee, O God. Let all the people give thanks to Thee. O Son of God, who arose from the dead, save us who sing to Thee. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. 
Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To For thou art a good God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him flee from before his face. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish, as wax melts before the fire. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down dead by death, death place, and Lord, upon those in the tombs bestowing by. So the sinners will perish before the face of God, but let the righteous be glad. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing by. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon us in the tombs bestowing light. Wisdom, let us attend.
The reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. Let us attend. In the first book, O Theophilus, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day when he was taken up, after he had given commandment through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. To them he presented himself alive after his passion by many proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking of the kingdom of God. And while staying with them, he charged them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, you heard from me, for John baptized with water, but before many days you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? He said to them, it is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem 
and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Peace be to thee that readeth. And to thy spirit. Hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee, O Lord. Let us attend. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came for testimony to bear witness to the light that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but was to bear witness to the light. The true light that enlightens every man was coming into the world. He was in the world. And the world was made through him, yet the world knew him not. He came to his own, and his own received him not. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory, as of the only Son of the Father. John bore witness to him and cried, This is he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks before me, for he was before me. And from his fullness have we all received grace upon grace, for the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Peace be to thee that proclaimeth the glad tidings. Glory to thee. Keep us, O God, by thy grace, wisdom. That God it always by thy might we may ascribe glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. No one who is bound with the desires and pleasures of the flesh is worthy to approach or draw nigh or to serve thee, O King of glory. For to serve thee is a great and terrible thing, even to the heavenly powers. Nevertheless, with an unspeakable and boundless love toward mankind, thou hast become man, yet without change or alteration, and as more of all this take the name of our high priest, and deliver unto us a ministry of this liturgic and unbloody sacrifice. For thou alone, O Lord, our God, rulest over those in heaven and on earth, who are born on the throne of the cherubim, Lord, Lord of the seraphim, and King of Israel, who Lord art holy, rest in thy place. Wherefore, I implore thee, O Lord, our good and our ready to listen, look down upon me, O sinner, and thy profitable servant, and cleanse my soul and my heart from the evil conscience, and by the power of thy Holy Spirit, enable me to do with the grace of the priesthood, to stand before this thy holy table, and to perform the sacred mystery of thy holy covenant in the body of precious blood. For I draw near unto thee, and bow down at thy grave, turn not thy face from me, and either cast me out from among thy children. But thou say that these gifts may be offered unto thee by me, thy simple and unworthy. 
the servant. For thou thyself art he that offers and is offered, that accepts and is distributed, O Christ our God, that unto thee we ascribe glory, together with thy Father, who is from everlasting, and thine all holy good and life giving spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. We who mystically represent the cherubim and sing to the life giving trinity of Christ the Holy Ghost. Let us now lay aside all earthly care. And sing to the life of the Trinity of the Thrice Holy Him, let us now lay aside all earthly care. We who mystically represent the cherubim and sing to the life of the Trinity of the Thrice Holy Him, let us now lay aside all earthly care. Father and Metropolitan Joseph and all our brotherhood in Christ, the Lord God remember them in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. For Metropolitan Paul and Archbishop John, for their quick release from captivity and safe return, the Lord God, remember them in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. For the President of the United States and all civil authorities and our armed forces everywhere, the Lord God, remember them in his kingdom, 
always now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. For the Orthodox servants of God, especially for the Archpriest Wayne, for Wanda Teresa Michelle, for the Archpriest John Stephen, Tatiana Max, Elizabeth Tom, Steve, Liam, Candace, Wayne, Maggie, Alexandra, Kelsey, Stacy, Michelle, that they have mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon and remission of their sins. The Lord God remember them in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. For the Orthodox servants of God departed this life, especially for the priest Catalan, for Annie, and for all those of our loved ones whom we remember on this day of resurrection, the Lord God remember them in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. complete our prayer unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts now set forth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter there, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us. Keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. That this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this soul. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this soul. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Our Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. Through the compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. And to thy Spirit. Let us love one another, that with one
one accord we may confess. Christ is risen. Truly is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Truly he is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Truly he is risen. The doors, the doors, in wisdom let us attend. I believe. One God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God, very God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who ruled for us to men. And for our salvation, came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again, according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again in glory to judge the living and dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord of the pure life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one only Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, I look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand around. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with our spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is meet and right to worship the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. It is meet and right to hymn thee, to bless thee, to praise thee, to give thanks unto thee, and to worship thee in every place of thy dominion. For thou art God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing and eternally the same. Thou and thine only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit, thou it was who didst bring us from non-existence into being. And when we had fallen away, didst raise us up again, and didst not cease to do all things until thou hast brought us back to heaven and hast endowed us with thy kingdom which is to come. For all these things we give thanks unto thee and to thine only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit. For all things of which we know not, and, and for which we know and which we know not. And for all the benefits bestowed upon us, both manifest and unseen. And we give thanks unto thee also for this ministry, which thou dost vouchsafe to receive at our hands, even though there stand beside thee thousands of archangels and ten thousands of angels, the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft, borne on their pinions, singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, with these blessed powers, O oh, Master, who loves mankind, we cry aloud and say, Holy art thou, and holy, and magnificent is thy glory. 
Thou thy only begotten Son, thy Holy Spirit. Holy art thou, and all holy. Who is full of the world, and singeth thy only begotten Son, that all who believe in you cannot perish, but have everlasting life. For many have come and have fulfilled all the dispensation for us, and the night in which he was returned to heaven, gave himself up for his life to be took bread in his pure and holy, his heart was laid in his hands. When he gave thanks, he blessed and followed and broke it. He gave it to his holy. Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. And likewise, after suffering, he took the cup, saying, Drink ye all of this, this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Having a remembrance, therefore, this saving commandment and all those things which have come to pass for us, the cross, the grave, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the session at the right hand, and the second and glorious advent, thine own of thine own we offer unto thee in behalf of all and for all. Send down thy Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here spread forth. And make this bread the precious body of thy Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup the precious blood of thy Christ. Amen. Changing them by thy Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And amen. That to those who shall partake thereof they may be unto cleansing of soul, unto the remission of sins unto the communion of thy Holy Spirit, unto the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, unto boldness toward thee, and not unto judgment or unto condemnation. And again, we offer unto thee this reasonable service for all those who in faith have gone before us to their rest, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially, O Holy Immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary.
Among the first be mindful, O Lord, of our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, whom do thou grant unto thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth. And grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. Calling to remembrance all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts which have been offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God who loveth mankind, receiving them upon his holy heavenly and ideal altar for an odor of spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us and return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Asking for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. And vouchsafe, O Lord, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God as Father, and to say, Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit, let us bow our heads. 
heads unto the Lord. Grace and compassion and love toward man of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Look down, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from thy holy dwelling place and from the throne of the glory of thy kingdom and come to sanctify us, O Thou who sitteth on high with the Father, and art here invisibly present with us, and vouchsafe by Thy mighty hand to impart unto us an immaculate body and precious blood, and through us unto all the people. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. Let us attend. Holy things are for the holy. Broken and distributed is the Lamb of God who is ever broken. One is holy, one is holy. Let's sanctify those who partake of their Lord. Fullness of the cup of the faith of those who are spared. and all holy body of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ is given unto me the unworthy priest Michael for the remission of sins and for life
Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Receiving the body of Christ, Before the tomb was made glad. God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Wash away the sins of those who remember here, O Lord, by thy precious blood, the prayers of all thy sins. Christ is risen from the dead, trembling down death by death, and the song of God. It is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let our mouths be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that we may sing of thy glory. attend, having partaken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Asking that this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. We give thanks unto thee, O Lord, who lovest mankind, benefactor of our souls and bodies, for that thou hast vouchsafed this day to feed us with thy heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, establish us all in thy fear, guard our life, make firm our steps, through the prayers and intercessions of the glorious Theotokos and the ever-Virgin Mary, and of all thy saints. For thou art our sanctification, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages. Of Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord, who blesses those who bless thee and sanctifies those who put their trust in thee. Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Preserve the fullness of thy church. 
Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them in recompense, in recompense by thy divine power, and forsake us not who hope on thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to all civil authorities, to our armed forces, and to all thy people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from thee, the Father of lights. And unto thee we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Christ is risen from the dead, traveling down death by death, and upon us in the tomb is the light. Christ is risen from the dead, traveling down death by death, and upon us in the tomb is the light. Christ is risen from the dead, traveling down death by death, and upon us in the tomb is the light. For all of you folks at home, if you've got your Easter baskets or your Easter eggs or anything pertaining to Pascha, we want to have blessed. We'll do that now. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Master, Lord our God, the Creator and Maker of all things, bless thou these eggs, these baskets, these meats, these cheeses, these wines, and all good things thou hast bestowed upon us. And preserve us in thy loving kindness, that as we partake of them, even so also we may be filled with thy gifts, which ungrudgingly thou bestowest, and with thine unspeakable goodness. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Is risen. Truly, he is, is risen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. The blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his grace and love towards man, always, now, and ever, and unto ages. Of ages. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May he who is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy glorious and all honorable apostles, of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, whose divine liturgy we have now celebrated, of the holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. Christ is risen. Truly he is risen. Christ is risen. Truly he is risen. Christ is risen. Truly he is risen. We adore and glory to his holy third day resurrection. We adore his third day resurrection. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, traveling down.
Si cam. Christos aneste. Alitos aneste. Christos a enviat. Aderat a enviat. Christos vos cresci. Boisios vos cresci. Christ is risen. Truly he is risen. Yeah. 